the one I grow up coach. What are you gonna be when you grow up? Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for another I Quit My Day Job update. I feel like right now I'm just in this really transitional time. I think part of it just has to do with the fact that the new year is right around the corner and I spent a lot of time on vacation actually, because this is fun for me. Um, I get excited when I'm like, oh my God, I have two five hour plane rides for me to like, you know, buy the Wi-Fi on Virgin Airlines, which is the best airlines ever, and just like dig into um, what's my scheduling for this year, when do I want to see clients, what do I need to be charging, all of that good stuff. I I already have that under my belt, which is um, really just a nice way to kind of come back from my vacation and know that that's all there and that's in place. Above and beyond that, I think it's also transitional because. Um, uh, I've been in a um, on a waiting list. I mean, for for I don't know a year and a half at this point, uh, and it's been a pretty long waiting list. So, for the last two months, I've like pretty much told people I can't start working with anyone until December, and now I can't start working with anyone until about mid January. Um, but at at that point in time, my calendar is looking a lot more open. So I think it's the combination of it being the new year and the combination of um, just a lot of things wrapping up before the holidays um, that makes me start thinking, oh my God, what do I want to offer and could I do? I have this open calendar and part of it is like um, a little bit out of entrepreneurial panic, like, oh, I don't have as many things lined up or I don't have as many client sessions on the books and so I need to, you know, work, work, work. And part of it is like that excitement of having a more open calendar and going, oh, I'm going to have time and space to really like put out there and create the things that I want to be creating. Um, and I'm planning on taking at least two to four weeks between the holidays and, and mid-January to just kind of have off and do that digging and building and, and give you guys hopefully really exciting things, new things to offer. Um, so what I'm planning on doing, I'm giving you a sneak peek. I'll always be having my Growing Up Goods pack package, my Singular Sensation package. In terms of operations, the next time I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be offering it for a January start, so you're gonna see that um, open back up in the next uh, few weeks. I'm going to be adding gift certificates, so you could ask for me for the holidays. I'd love to be packaged up and given the career change, growing up gift um, under the tree. The menorah, the, what do you do for Kwanzaa? I don't know. Whatever you celebrate, uh, hopefully I'm there with a little a little bow. And then on top of that, um, there are two new services and things that I want to, I'm getting together now that are still a little bit fuzzy, but um, in general, I'd love to hear any ideas that you have in terms of what you really want me to be offering that I'm not right now. Um, so feel free to leave that in the comments or to email me. That would be amazeballs. Um, but one of the things is like a... A clubhouse of sorts uh, something more than just an online community where I could get you guys together and and we could talk and I could give you exercises like that sounded very e-coursey to me and e-courses right now aren't like super exciting for me because I think I'm just too much of a vocal person and it would just totally cut off the coaching piece which I find to be really important so I think putting something together where we're gonna be able to all be in like an online private group I'm gonna do like virtual workshops for you guys so we could get together for maybe like four hours on a Saturday or something every few weeks um, go on a on a topic really dig into something and then um, on the online piece you'll have the exercises we'll have probably like coachy like chats I don't know exactly what they'd be like um, weekly bi-weekly that you could uh, you know, join if and when you're free and get the recordings for. So really um, big, good, exciting stuff going on there. That's going to be a lower price point. That's like really high up on my list. And the other thing that's high up on my list is to um, offer another package for my one-on-one -on -one clients. Uh, and I'd definitely be looking for some guinea pigs to just kind of work on this with me because I, I can't really see exactly the structure yet until I start doing it but I love to be able to um, get you guys quicker results and it's it's tough because I really feel very strongly that coaching is a process and there needs to be time to explore and put things into action and and um, have all those pieces together but there's also a piece of me that sort of knows like okay doing that together for four months could be just 
you know, maybe a bit too long of a period and how could I get you guys like really off and running in a half a day and then maybe with follow-up sessions afterwards. So um, I'm going to be asking for guinea pigs for that in the next few weeks as well. So lots of really exciting stuff going on and I just sort of feel like um, I'm back at the, I'm, I'm at the wheel of the ship. I'm the master of my domain, as Seinfeld would say, but not in that way that they mean it. Uh, and just still experimenting. Um, you know, 19, 20 months into my business, I'm still experimenting, still seeing what's working and what isn't. So uh, it's, it's again, so, you know, 25% maybe panic driven and 75% opportunity, fun and easy excitement driven. Um, and it's awesome. So yay, I quit my job update. Thank you guys for being here and leave your comments. Let me know um, what you would want me to offer in 2012 or how you guys are doing with your businesses. I, I, I want to hear all of it. Uh, so give me the dates down in the comments. Okay, gracias. Bye guys. So when I grow up, coach, what are you going to be when you grow up? That was balls.